Ha! Bingo! <laughs> hey, hey! This is good! Two of them moving off for some reason. See the third one just following. Very, very lucky timing for us. Look at that. Oh! Had a quick glance that reminded me of Villa Unidas. Just love to get to know these guys again. I haven't seen them in so long. But three of them here. It's either Leonidas or Shaka, it's one of those two. Essentially the five Mapochos that we see most often. You've got the two with the smaller mains. Mr. T and T2 as I've started calling the other one. And you've got the two of the big mains. Which Leonidas has got a slightly slightly fuller main than, than Shaka. And then the, the fifth one which you've only seen, I've only seen him once. He's got that very big black mane, he's got a very white front part of the sort of muzzle nose area I started thinking of his black beard but he doesn't come up here very often try and get a better view here also show you why these lions are here if you see why they're here you might be quite excited because um, I think we've got a good chance that we might see them this afternoon and maybe even tomorrow morning as well interesting they're slightly moving off I thought maybe because of us but not really it's just moving off because they want to this, huh? Covered all the intestine content that's covered with grass and mud. And that's something that lions do. Ugh, face. Surprise, I had no idea that they were even in the area. Oh, to see this lion in the open, but the way he looks, the way he stares at us, the way his eyes are, that was the first one I'd ever seen of the Mapochos. December when just killed uh, one of the cubs from the Kuhuma Pride. We'll try and have another look at him just now. Let's just show you here on our left hand side is the buffalo. A large amount of meat left. It looks like eating quite a bit of the hindquarters. Look, and in, I've sort of into it from the belly as well as from the tail area. But what's very interesting is just in the foreground here. Well, let's have a look at the face quickly. This was probably yesterday afternoon or early evening, even that this happened. Imagine, it's a big buff. Doesn't look he's unhealthy in any way or sick in any way. It was a big male, a dugger boy. For some reason, maybe just by himself or not with too many other males. And of course, the poho lions are a force to be reckoned with, even above and beyond the lions. So uh, it must have been. Imagine a big animal like that getting taken down by these lions. Look at this in the foreground. I'm almost time to go and stand next to you. Yeah. That's probably about two and a half three feet tall, that mound. Now, it's fairly common for but parts of the car to the intestines and just cause the attract the attention of other animals like hyenas and so on. But I've never seen it to this extent. This is a huge mound. This might have taken, have taken them a while just to kick that amount of sand mud over it. Look at that. I'll spot it. I mean, a good tracker as well, though. Look at that. Using those pots and claws to click that. Stand. Okay, just struggling a little bit signal as well. But uh, also at the same time, let's try and get a better look at these lions. They've got into some very, very tricky stuff there. Uh, kind of thing you really want to take the vehicle into. Look at that face. Oh, I 
do wish that we could see these lions on a more regular basis, really get to know them. They are truly fascinating characters, spectacular lions. Just looking at this male again, just look at those eyes. I've seen a lot of impressive lions, and these ones are fast becoming maybe the most impressive. Two males that I got to know in my early days of guiding in Pilansburg, the Homburg males, were spectacular lions, 260 kilograms, huge. I mean, literally 260 kilograms is, is, at that stage, he was one of the heaviest lions ever weighed. But these guys certainly, and the fierceness and wildness and, and almost a challenge in their eyes, I really, really like that. Beautiful cats. Just looking at us, it's that cold, hard stare of a male lion. other two I can just see actually from the camera you probably won't be able to see them they're right in the back there very very thick bush on the edge of this drainage line I have to wait a little bit before we can see some of them Why don't we walk over to that buffalo carcass and we go cut ourselves a piece of steak from it. <laughs> and we see what happens. I tell you what, I'll get on the camera and you do it. Um, no, no, you can stay on camera, you better. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do camera. You should do it. That would certainly be... to the car. Right? <laughs> that would certainly be an interesting thing to do. These lions, even though I'm sure when you walk into them and put, they'll react to you as a human. In other words, they'll be wary of you. But uh, obviously not something you're going to do, just making a bit of silly fun here. But I do find it very, very exciting being around these lions. Just the whole energy, the whole feel you get from them. Very, very cool. Let's go a little bit forward, Alex. I think there's another gap. Just past that little num-num bush. Maybe. Okay, now roll a little bit. There. Bingo. Spartans, my poor males.